Hi guys, it's Ashley over from omeliving.com and today we are going to work on making these adorable matching mama and me ruffle shorts. So let's grab a pair of shorts that fit you and your little and get started. We're going to use another pair of ruffle shorts that I made previously for my daughter in this tutorial. First you want to take your fabric and fold it where wrong sides are facing together and then you take your shorts and also fold them. Then we're going to draw an outline around the shorts, making sure to leave about an inch for the seam allowance, and then cut. We're going to use these for our front side of the shorts. And we're going to take one of the front sides and do the exact same for the back. Now if you have fabric like mine where it doesn't matter if it looks upside down or not, you can fold it into fours and just make one big cut. But if you have fabric with words and such, you want to do it this way. We're going to take our front pieces and our back pieces and have them facing right side together. And then we're going to sew and serge. Now this is what your front pieces and your back pieces should look like on both the child and the adult. Now we're going to take our shorts and put our front and our back sides wrong side, wrong side of the fabric facing each other and we're going to pin the crotch area and the sides. And once again, we're going to sew and serge those areas. And this is what your shorts should look like inside out. Okay, I just wanna do a really quick apology. Um, the waist section of these shorts the video turned out really fuzzy, so I'm going to have to do this step by step using just photos. Again, I apologize. Once your shorts are turned right side out, you're going to pin them about an inch down so we can get them ready to sew. And we're going to sew all around the fabric, leaving about an inch in the back. And then we're going to add our elastic. And in order to add the elastic, you need to get a safety pin, pin it to one end of the elastic, and use that to pull your elastic all the way through. And once your elastic has been pulled through, you're going to want to do a zigzag stitch. I do a double zigzag stitch on each, on the front side and then on the back side, just to make sure that, that it's very secure. And then you're gonna tuck that elastic back in and then finish sewing the rest of your waist. Okay, so now grabbing your fabric for your ruffles, we're going to measure and cut out strips. Make sure that you have previously measured out your leg holes for both your shorts and your daughter's shorts and take that measurement and you can either add half of that or you can double the whole measurement uh, depending on how roughly you want your shorts. For me, we just did that measurement plus the half and they still turned out pretty roughly. For the adult shorts, you want to measure about four inches long for the strips and for your child's, you want to measure three inches long. Now we're going to want to mark and cut our strips. I like to fold mine in half and then just iron and cut it in half, but you can do it however you'd like. And once we have our strips cut out, we're going to want to fold them in half and pin. I like to iron and press mine, but you don't have to. Once all of our ruffles are nice and pinned, we're going to do a basting stitch with no lock. So we are going to be able to pull and make it into a ruffle. 
So we're going to pull our back thread into making ruffles. If you have a ruffle foot, obviously it would be a lot faster. My little girl Ava lost mine, so I'm gonna have to do it manually. Again, you should have your measurement for your leg holes, and you want to make your ruffles approximately the length of the leg holes. After your ruffle is the size you need it to, you want to pin it right side together, and you want to have your raw edges facing the same way for your shorts and your ruffles. And we're just going to pin around the leg hole. Once we get to the ends, we're going to want to tuck the ends together so that the raw edges do not show. Next, we're going to sew the ruffles onto the leg holes. And you want to be careful because you don't want your ruffles to be tucked under while sewing because that will show on your finished project. Now once your ruffles are all sewn on, we're going to do a top stitch, just about half an inch above the ruffles to make sure that our surged edges are secured into the shorts. And you have a nice finished look like this. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope I was able to help you make these adorable ruffle pants for you and your little one. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to write them down below or you could visit my blog at omelivin.com. I do have this article featured in my crafts and DIY section, so be sure to go over and check it out. Thank you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Namaste.